Global Gems presents interesting facts about Afghanistan. Number one, the country is landlocked. Afghanistan is a landlocked country, meaning it doesn't have any coastline. Instead, it's surrounded by six neighboring countries, Pakistan, Iran, Turkmenistan, Uzbekistan, China, and Tajikistan. Since there's no access to the sea, trade primarily occurs overland routes, connecting Afghanistan to its neighbors. Number two, it gained independence. In 1919, Afghanistan achieved independence in 1919 after engaging in multiple conflicts with Britain. Although not directly ruled by the British, the United Kingdom heavily influenced Afghanistan's foreign affairs. Afghanistan secured its autonomy through resilience and determination, marking a pivotal moment in its history. Number three, Afghanistan is the 41st largest country in the world. Afghanistan, nestled in South Central Asia, holds the 41st spot among the world's largest countries, covering a vast land area of 652,860 square kilometers, 252,071 square miles. It's home to nearly 40 million people, making it the 37th most populous nation globally. Kabul's bustling capital is the largest city and the country's political center, accommodating about 10% of the population. Pashto and Dari, stand as the official languages of this vibrant land. Number four, there are no public Christian churches in Afghanistan. In Afghanistan, Islam reigns supreme as the official state religion, embraced by a staggering 99.7% of the population. Sunni Islam is predominant, with 80% to 89% of Afghans adhering to its teachings while Shia Islam is practiced by 10% to 19%. Notably, public Christian churches are absent in Afghanistan, reflecting the nation's predominantly Muslim identity. The Our Lady of Divine Providence Chapel, nestled within the Italian embassy in Kabul, is the sole legally recognized Christian church building. This Catholic chapel, granted authorization in 1933, serves as a rare sanctuary for Christians in the heart of Afghanistan. Number five, Afghanistan produces about 90% of the world's heroin. Afghanistan holds a notorious title as the leading producer of heroin worldwide, contributing to about 90% of the global supply. This dubious distinction stems from its status as the primary cultivator of poppies, which yield a sticky yellow substance used in the production of heroin and opium. According to the United Nations Office on Drugs and Crime UNODC, Afghanistan ranks as the largest producer of opium, accounting for over 90% of the world's opium supply and more than 95% of Europe's opium supply as of 2021. Number 6. Afghanistan has had 26 different flags. Afghanistan's flag, adorned with black, red, and green stripes and a white emblem at its center, bears deep symbolism black for the nation's past struggles, red for the sacrifices made for independence, and green for Islam and prosperity. Featuring a mosque, pulpit, flags, and wheat sheaves, the emblem is inscribed with the powerful declaration, there is no God, but Allah and Muhammad are his prophet, and Allah is great. Since its first use in 1709, Afghanistan has witnessed 26 different flag designs, reflecting the nation's enduring evolution. Number seven, Afghanistan is a country of extremes. Afghanistan is a land of stark contrasts, exemplified by its extreme weather and dramatic topography. The country boasts a remarkable temperature range with a scorching record high of 49.9 degree, 121.8 degree, and a bone chilling low of 52.2 degree, with 62.0 degree. Moreover, the elevation span is equally astounding, stretching over 7,134 meters 23,734 feet from its highest peak, Noshak, to its lowest point, Amudarya. This elevation contrast ranks Afghanistan sixth globally for its vast differences in height. Number eight, Afghanistan has one of the youngest populations in the world. With a population of around 38 million, Afghanistan stands out as a youthful nation. The United Nations Population Fund highlights Afghanistan's status as one of the world's youngest and most rapidly expanding populations, with approximately 67% under the age of 25. 
The country's median age of 19 solidifies it as one of the youngest populations globally. Number 9. The Taliban Ruli Afghanistan The Taliban, an Islamic fundamentalist group, currently holds power in Afghanistan. Despite controlling large portions of the country, the Taliban is not universally recognized as the legitimate government, with many countries and international bodies withholding recognition. Labeled as a terrorist organization by several nations, the Taliban's governance is marred by a track record of human rights violations, particularly concerning women and minorities, as well as its ties to terrorism. Number 10. Afghanistan had Buddhism in ancient times. Afghanistan boasts a rich Buddhist legacy from ancient times, serving as a significant hub along the Silk Road. During the first millennium CE, the region flourished as a center of Buddhism, adorned with majestic monasteries, stupas, and religious monuments. Among its most renowned treasures were the Bamyan Buddhas, colossal statues carved into the cliff sides of Bamyan Valley during the 6th century CE. Towering over 50 meters, 160 feet in height, these iconic statues stood as monumental symbols of Buddhist devotion until they were tragically destroyed by the Taliban in 2001. Despite this loss, Afghanistan remains adorned with many Buddhist sites, including ancient monasteries, stupas, and rock-cut caves with intricate Buddhist art and inscriptions. Number 11. Afghanistan has gone through many wars in recent times, Afghanistan has endured a tumultuous history marked by numerous wars and conflicts. Among the most significant was the Soviet invasion of Afghanistan in 1979, a brutal conflict that lasted nearly a decade and resulted in widespread devastation and loss of life. The withdrawal of Soviet forces in 1989 plunged Afghanistan into a period of civil war and instability, exacerbated by the emergence of the Taliban in the mid-1990s. The 2001 invasion by the United States and its allies, prompted by the September 11 terrorist attacks, ousted the Taliban regime. However, the following two decades have been marred by continued conflict, insurgency, and political upheaval as Afghanistan struggles to establish a stable and democratic government. Despite efforts to bring peace and stability to the country, Afghanistan remains entrenched in a cycle of violence and uncertainty. Number 12. Afghanistan is a mountainous country. Afghanistan's rugged landscape is dominated by its mountainous terrain, with the imposing Hindu Kush range stretching diagonally across the country from northeast to southwest. These majestic mountains rank among the highest globally, boasting peaks that soar beyond 7,000 meters, 23,000 feet. Noshak is Afghanistan's loftiest peak, while Tirik Mir adds to the breathtaking panorama. Beyond the Hindu Kush, Afghanistan boasts notable mountain ranges like the Pamir and Suleiman Mountains, expansive plateaus, and high-altitude plains. These lofty landscapes define Afghanistan's geography and profoundly influence its climate, water systems, and ecological diversity. Number 13. Afghanistan has many nationalities and languages. Afghanistan is a mosaic of diverse ethnicities and languages. The Pashtuns are the largest ethnic group, primarily inhabiting the southern and eastern regions. Alongside the Pashtuns, significant ethnic communities include Tajiks, Hazaras, Uzbeks, Aymaks, Baloch, and Turkmen, contributing to the country's rich cultural tapestry. Afghanistan boasts a multitude of languages, reflecting this ethnic diversity. Pashto and Dari, a variant of Persian, serve as the official languages and are widely spoken across various ethnic groups. Beyond Pashto and Dari, many other languages and dialects thrive among minority groups, including Uzbek, Turkmen, Balochi, and Pamiri, underscoring Afghanistan's vibrant linguistic heritage. Number 14. Afghanistan has stunning mosques and traditional architecture. Afghanistan's architectural treasures are captivated by their timeless beauty and cultural significance. Among these, the Great Mosque of Herat is a masterpiece of Islamic architecture. Dating back to the 12th century, this majestic mosque in Herat dazzles with its intricate tilework, soaring minarets, and elegant domes, showcasing the artistry of the era.
Further north, the Blue Mosque in Mazari Sharif beckons with its stunning blue tiles and ornate calligraphy. Built in the 15th century, it is a testament to the splendor of Timurid architecture and remains a symbol of artistic brilliance and spiritual devotion. Beyond mosques, Afghanistan's landscape is adorned with a wealth of traditional architecture, from ancient citadels to mud brick houses. Cities like Kabul, Balkh, and Bamyan exude charm with their historic towns, bustling bazaars, and caravanserais, offering a glimpse into Afghanistan's rich architectural heritage that continues to inspire awe and admiration. Number 15. People love eating Kabuli Pulao. Kabuli Pulao is a cherished dish in Afghan cuisine. It is readily available across the country and beloved by locals and visitors alike. This national dish combines fragrant rice with slow-cooked meat, carrots, lentils, raisins, and nuts, offering a compelling blend of bold flavors that reflect Afghanistan's culinary heritage. It is a delightful introduction to Afghan food's diverse and decadent tastes. After indulging in Kabuli Pulao, be sure to try the array of delectable Afghan desserts and sweets available to round off your meal. Similar to dining customs in other cultures, such as India and Ethiopia, eating with your hands is a common practice in Afghanistan. While cutlery may be provided, there's no shame in embracing the traditional method. However, remember to use your right hand for eating, as the left hand is reserved for hygiene purposes, such as after visiting the restroom. This simple etiquette ensures a respectful and enjoyable dining experience in Afghan culture. Number 16. Most of the businesses and shops are closed on Fridays. Fridays hold special significance in Afghanistan as a sacred day in Islam. Due to the importance of the Friday prayer, most shops and businesses close their doors, allowing everyone to gather and pray at mosques across the country. It's essential to plan accordingly and avoid scheduling shopping or business activities on Fridays, as most establishments observe this religious tradition and remain closed. Number 17. Hand-woven rugs are everywhere. Hand-woven rugs are a hallmark of Afghan craftsmanship and culture and the country's most prized export. These exquisite rugs adorn homes and markets throughout Afghanistan, showcasing exceptional quality and intricate patterns. Acquiring one of these beautiful rugs will undoubtedly add a touch of elegance to your home decor. Number 18. Drinking alcohol is illegal. In Afghanistan, adherence to Islamic principles shapes societal norms and laws, including the prohibition of alcohol consumption. As a result, tourists accustomed to enjoying alcoholic beverages may find Afghanistan restrictive in this regard. It's essential to respect local customs and laws, as violating the prohibition on alcohol can lead to legal consequences. Number 19. Handshakes, between opposite genders, are not allowed. In Afghanistan, cultural norms dictate that men refrain from physical contact with women, especially during greetings, unless they are close relatives. Handshakes between individuals of opposite genders are generally not permitted. To show respect and adhere to local customs when visiting Afghanistan, it's essential to greet locals appropriately and follow these cultural norms regarding physical contact. Number 20. The national sport is Buzzkashi. Buzzkashi reigns as Afghanistan's national sport, steeped in centuries of Asian tradition. In this thrilling game, men mounted on horseback compete fiercely to possess a headless goat lacking hooves. The ultimate objective is to seize and carry the goat towards a designated goal. Typically played on Fridays, Buzkashi showcases its participants' skill, strength, and camaraderie, reflecting a cherished aspect of Afghan cultural heritage. Number 21. People consider dogs to be impure and unclean. Lastly, in Afghanistan, cultural beliefs regard dogs as impure and unclean, contrasting with Western perspectives where dogs are often cherished as companions. Due to these cultural norms, Dogs are rarely seen in areas where people gather for prayer or religious activities. This difference in perception underscores the diverse attitudes towards dogs across different cultures, highlighting the varied relationships humans have with animals worldwide. This is a wrap on this video. 
Which one of these facts captivated you the most? We'd love to hear your thoughts in the comment section. If you like this video, please like it and hit that subscribe button. Your support through likes and shares helps us reach more people who can benefit from these insights. We hope to see you guys in the following video. Until next time, we love you.